everyone. Welcome back to the Two Hasbro's Toy Hunt Podcast. As always, I am your host, Gio. Joining me, my good friend, my co-host, George, all the way from the south side, which is not the best side. How you doing, George? <laughs> Says you. <laughs> oh, man. How's, uh, how's everything? Good, I guess. As good as things can be. Yeah, it's been pretty slow, and it seems like everything is starting to get slower and slower, uh, at least on the action figure side. Yeah, right? It feels yeah. like that. Well, maybe it feels like that for us because we haven't really gone out there and bought anything, and we haven't been out toy hunting in almost two months now. I don't remember. How long? <laughs> yeah, I, I've stopped. I've stopped keeping score. No, in about a month and a half. Really? Just a month and a half? It feels like it's been a year. I know. Wow. Okay, so let's get right into it. Uh, We've got a a short episode for you. Uh, Actually, I don't even want to say, because the last time I said we had a really long episode, and it turned out to be an average average episode. Length episode. (laughs) Yeah, I don't have really much to talk about on my side as far as, like, buying things. I haven't bought anything since I bought the Annabelle. Uh, I have things on pre-order, but even those might have to be canceled because I am not sure where we're going to be in a few months' time uh, financially. I'm still working, you know, knock on wood, but we don't know how much longer this is going to keep going and what effects it's going to have on in, on all of our pockets. Uh, how about you, George? Do you have anything? No. Ah, how very depressing. We might not have anything, but at least we've been watching like reviews and stuff, so we get to watch other people open new toys and talk about <laughs> their new toys, right? Um, so uh, let's start off with uh, a little bit of news here. Uh, as we learned last week, the San Diego Comic Con has been canceled because the mayor of California says that there will not be any uh, public gatherings for the, the mayor season. of the city of California. <laughs> what did I say? The mayor? Oh. The governor? Oh, the governor. I'm sorry. The <laughs> governor of California uh, has said that there will not be any uh, public gatherings for the foreseeable future, thus canceling San Diego Comic Con. What are you? What's yeah, your that thoughts? Was... Hmm? Oh, what are your thoughts on it? That was a long time coming. I don't know why just now they're announcing it. Well, because they're hanging on. They were hanging on to that little bit of hope that it might not have to be canceled. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I guess. I'm assuming. I mean, when there's this much money at stake, you probably don't want to jump the gun on anything. But maybe if they had jumped the gun sooner, they maybe would have saved money. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how like, convention uh, economics work. Yeah. Well, I don't know, because also we don't know when they started planning it. Like, if they've been planning it six months ago, then, you know, they they, they didn't see this coming. They couldn't foresee this coming. Yeah. Because the only way to save money would have been to cancel it before you started planning it. But if they had already, you know, started working with vendors and getting the paying for the I site. Assume, I assume it's a year-round thing, no? Oh, yeah, it's got to be. That's what I'm saying. The only way to uh, to have saved money on it was to cancel it from the get-go. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because at any point, if they had canceled it, I don't know, two months ago, it still would have been a loss of money. Yeah. But uh, if you did have your ticket, you know, uh, from what I hear, you can uh, either get it refunded or you can transfer the ticket to next year's convention. (laughs) Are you getting your ticket uh, refunded, George, or are you just going to go to next year's convention? Uh, (laughs) uh, Neither of those things. (laughs) Uh, well, I mean, we weren't going to go anyway, but I did enjoy watching videos of, you know, YouTubers that go and they show us all the reveals and all the new stuff that's coming out. I guess we're, uh, we're going to be affected in that way. Those of us that weren't going anyway. Yeah. Is, is, uh, is Comic-Con where, uh, where, uh, where Shardamus and them all go? Well, they go to everything. So I'm assuming so. No, no, no. Uh, yeah, but where they talk with like the Hasbro, where Hasbro has a panel and they talk about the the one where they gave him the uh, the uh... Spider Man. Yeah, I'm gonna assume so. I think it was oh. at a Comic Con. 
Oh, okay, okay. I think it was at San Diego Comic Con, which is sad news because I'm like I said, you know, those of us that aren't going, we would get to watch it. And if if anything, we need right now is more content on YouTube because I'm running out of things to watch. <laughs> Me too. Now I also hear that uh, that there's still going to be uh, exclusives that were supposed to have been Comic Con exclusives, so you'll they'll probably just have them online. I'm assuming. That's better, I guess. For us. <laughs> yeah, there'll probably be more quantities. Do you think there'll be more quantities or the same amount of quantities as there would have been? Uh, because they always do, like, uh, their exclusives, they have them um, available online and they have them available at the convention. But since there's not going to be a convention, well, does that mean that there's going to be more availability online, per se, for us to go out there and buy these things? Maybe, uh, I I'd assume so, but y- you know how they are. They we don't have any numbers. We don't have any uh, on this stuff. Yeah, they're always trying to stick it to you. <laughs> oh, also a little bit of news. Sony announced the title for the uh, Venom sequel. Uh, it's gonna be called Venom. Let there be carnage. Uh, were you excited about this movie? I didn't know it was coming out. It was due to come out uh, in October of this year, but apparently it's been delayed to. Uh, well, it's been pushed to June 2021. Uh, say it again. Uh, were you uh, looking forward to this movie? Is this something you were excited about? Uh, not really, because I haven't seen the Venom movie. You so... haven't seen. You haven't seen Venom. No, have you? Yeah, like two or three times already. Oh, was that good? Uh, no, my son really liked it. It's not a bad movie. I thought it was I, I thought it was good, but my son really liked it, so that's why I've seen it uh, multiple times. Well, you need to teach your son some uh, <laughs> some movie uh, taste. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just kidding. I don't know. If it, I haven't seen it. Um, no, I, I guess I might look forward to it after I watch Venom, the movie. You should get a... You, you, I think you should watch it. I think you would enjoy it. Um, I, I mean, I don't really. We we tend to disagree sometimes on, on a lot of movies, but I think you'd enjoy Venom. It's it's funny. It's good. I want to watch it in a manner in a manner that doesn't give Sony the even even how little small the impression that I want to watch more of their uh, their pseudo MCU uh, stuff. <laughs> but they gave us back Spider Man. I thought we were all good. <laughs> yes, but. Oh man, they they really better handle the uh, vulture well. Hey, hey, and if they do, I'll freaking I'll go to the next one, right? I'll I'll keep watching their fake MCU. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not MCU; it's uh, the Spider Verse that they're uh, cashing in on. No, that's what I'm saying. They're fake MCU. <laughs> they're wannabe MCU. Yeah, they're generic uh, MCU. <laughs> They're all the all these brand MCU. <laughs> They're uh, uh what, what is it called? Um, uh, Clancy, Clancy, <laughs> right. Clancy, Clancy packaged MCU, or they're Doctor Simi and C- MCU. <laughs> uh, for those that don't know, Doctor Simi is a generic drugstore in uh, well, I know it's in Mexico City. I don't know if it's everywhere in Mexico. Yeah, but but he's very popular. You know, he's got his commercials. He's always got the little. They got the little mascot outside mascot, of the. Yeah. Uh, you know, he's and he's dancing. He's a really famous, uh, really famous uh, character in, in Mexico City. Do you think the Venom wave figures, the Hasbro Marvel Legends, uh, the, this Venom movie wave? Do you think those figures are going to be delayed? I don't know. I I haven't. Uh, they should, the the. Uh... The uh, Black Widow wave should have been delayed. I don't know. Uh, and is it is it going to be specifically like m- movie related, or is it going to be like just like uh, hey, here's some like comic characters to like we know the Venom, the new uh, Carnage movies coming out. Like here's some you know Venom Carnage related stuff. Is that how it's going to be, or is it going to be like an actual uh, Sony verse sh- wave? I'm not sure. I would assume it's going to be Sony verse because. Uh... I mean, we got the Spider-Man Far From Home and the Spider-Man Homecoming waves, and they were uh, they had movie figures in them. I yeah, mean, I, so like, I would 
I, I would assume they would have at least two uh, movie figures in them. Yeah, but but the uh, Homecoming and that was more uh, was more MCU and like I think like they have some like deals with Disney because I I know I know uh, I'm pretty sure that uh, some of the reason why the uh, Fox uh, movie studio uh, the 21st Century Fox uh, X Men stuff didn't come out before was because of uh, like deals with Disney like they yeah. didn't let them. Yeah, I get what you're saying. If it's not a movie wave, then they really have no reason to uh, to really delay the figures, unless unless they're hoping to cash in on uh, on the hype, like oh, Venom, the new movie, and Carnage. So here's some figures, and unless they think we're not gonna go out there and buy them because there's not gonna be a movie, at least anytime soon, till next year. Yeah. Oh, um, George, why don't you tell me a little bit more about this uh, this McFarlane original spawn remastered uh, kickstarter um I, i've been away from from all things uh news for the past week or so and i see this figure i don't know if it's a statue or if it's going to be an articulated figure but man it looks really cool it's going to be articulated Do you uh, know the scale it's going to be seven inches so it's an action figure it's an actual action figure yeah yeah and I think it's going to be, like, less, you know, like, statuesque than uh, McFarlane used to used to do. Mm-hmm. I don't know. He's gone, he's gone uh, hard on the uh, articulation train. <laughs> he's, got the, he's got the articulation bug. Yeah, I wonder, I wonder, he used to, it used to be that he didn't like it. Like, well, we would complain about McFarlane articulation, but it seemed like that was, like, his philosophy. Like, he, he wanted the... You know, more of the sculpt to show. Like he didn't want the uh, the articulation like messing up the uh, like the, I guess like the artistry behind the the sculpture. Yeah, but those and, DC lines, they look the the articulation on those looks pretty good. And uh, and I gotta say the, the the images I've seen of this spawn that I start that I saw today, I just saw them not that long ago, and I think I want one depending on what the price is gonna be, and I think I still have got some time to get in there and. Uh, and put and throw some money at it, but I don't know if I'm gonna do that yet. But man, it looks really cool. I'm I am really enticed. I think you have about two weeks. I don't know if uh, I don't know how like strict these uh, <laughs> I guess because I'm used to the Hasla <laughs> thing. Um, you have around two weeks to uh, as of the time of this recording. Uh, it's gonna be forty bucks, I think, if you want one of the action figures. What do you mean one? See, I, I need you to tell me a little bit more about this because, yeah, I'm confused. I saw that there's something, a three-pack, and, and I, what, what's going on here? What, what am I missing out on? Uh, they're going to release three figures. Uh, one, uh, like the original Spawn, like the classic Spawn. Uh, then the modern one, which I, I think is uh, the one that came out in the, uh, in the uh, Mortal Kombat game. And they're gonna release a uh, a like unpainted uh, what they're calling an artist proof figure. And I think you can get like uh, I don't know either like one one or like maybe two I think in combination or all three. And then and then uh, there's like added like uh, if you want his signature or not, you know that costs some more money or or not. McFarland's uh, autograph. Yeah. I want the figure. I don't care about his autograph. <laughs> yeah, kind of. Uh, I was trying to see like the difference between just like his autograph and stuff, and I think it's like forty bucks. It's like I think it's like double the price of the figure, and that that does make me think like, eh, do I really need his his autograph? Wow, forty bucks. I mean, someone's a little full of themselves, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Although I like him, he's he's a very uh, charismatic character. Oh no, I like Todd McFarland. I was about to say Seth. No, we don't like Seth. Uh, <laughs> I like Todd McFarland. I I like watching his videos. He has videos on YouTube of him like drawing and his interviews, and I, I like his work. But uh, charging me extra for your autograph, I just want the figure, man. That figure <laughs> is worth more to me than your than your signature. Yeah, yeah, I would I would say so too. So they're forty bucks a pop, each one. 
Yeah, and I think I think the like the three pack. I think it's one twenty. So I th- I don't think he's like you know charging more for all three together. Well, charging less. less is what he should be doing if you're getting all three. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and I see that every time they reach a certain amount of money, something changes on the figures. Like he's yeah, adding uh, sculpts or some shit. Yeah, he gives he adds like accessories and uh, and like new stuff onto the figure. I uh, I think one of the changes was uh from uh, plastic chains to to like metal chains. Well, it's it's a really nice looking. Uh, I tell you what, if we weren't going through what we're going through right now in the world, I would I would jump on that because. Uh, <laughs> I, I just like the way it looks. I'm not a huge Spawn fan. I've seen a couple of the cartoons, the old cartoons, and those are really good. I want more. I, I, I wonder if they actually sell the series somewhere. I would buy it. I uh, wasn't a huge fan of the movie, but to be honest, I don't remember it. I don't remember it too much. So I was a uh, I was a moderately uh, big fan of. Well, I want to say big, but a fan enough that I watched it and liked it and watched it several times the movie we're talking about yeah have you ever seen the animated series i think it was on hbo i think i'm not sure no it's really good uh i think you can find some yeah you can find some episodes on youtube actually that's where i saw them like maybe six months ago maybe less than that i saw a couple of them and man they are really good so yeah for all you uh spawn fans get out there and uh and and get your hands on this because it, it looks really cool i know i might I, I I might I might go for it. Like yeah, like I want to go for it, and I'm not like, <laughs> and I and I'm usually not the kind of person to go for. Uh, one, I'm not that uh, that big a fan, uh, Spawn fan, and uh, two, I don't like uh, like I generally don't like companies going onto Kickstarter like Hasbro doing Haslab or or McFarlane doing Kickstarter. But I I guess he makes a good point about. Uh, not being able to sell uh, his stuff in stores. Like he was talking about KV Toys and he was talking about all the stores that he would sell the stuff in and how he's not able to anymore because, you know, they're closed or they don't want, you know, these like uh, these like one off figures just to sell, you know, and I don't know. I don't know how uh, he, he makes some sense, but I don't know. You know, we don't know the whole like distribution system and behind that or or their deals and stuff. So. Right, but it is surprising to hear you say that this is something you would go for. Yeah, it looks really good, dude. Yeah, the, it very does look good. really nice. I know, I know. Stop, 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 stop trying to sell me on it, man. Come on. <laughs> you don't hear, you don't, you don't hear me telling you about how cool these uh, three and three quarter inch Star Wars figures that are coming out are. <laughs> <laughs> now, speaking of other cool figures that had me intrigued, but like I said, I haven't been watching many reviews. I haven't been much on the internet. I know you have, and you probably have some opinions on this. All I know are some uh, screenshots that I have up here on my computer. Uh, you want to tell me a little bit about the Mafex uh, Cyclops? Uh, he comes with some interesting effects, like uh, eye effects. Uh, is is he? Uh, no, he's not the cloth goods one, right? No, the one I'm looking at is uh, Jim Lee. I don't know. I think I'm mistaking it for the uh, Mezco. Yes, Mezco is the soft goods. No, no, the Mafex is the one that's uh, like super articulated, and uh, the Wolverine came out not that long ago. That and he looks a bit bulky, with. right? Yes, he does look a bit a bit bulky for uh, for Cyclops. Yeah. Um. I. <laughs> what uh, interests me about that is that uh, I was watching the Foosh review, and he said that he preferred, uh, even though he really liked that one. Or, uh, and he he also commented that he liked the bulkiness because uh, it uh it was more like comic ac- comic accurate. Well, in the 90s when everything was bulky, oh. everyone was swole in the 90s. <laughs> <laughs> um, and the and the 80s too, right? Is when uh Schwarzenegger uh yeah and Van Damme and stuff. Um, oh, what was I saying? Uh, that uh he said he preferred the legend, the legend to the to the uh Mafex, which is uh which doesn't give me like the confidence to want to go out and buy a fucking eighty dollar figure. I mean basically the 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 Legends one is probably like a fifty, sixty dollar figure right now, but you know, 
it wasn't originally. <laughs> I love that Marvel Legends uh, Cyclops. Both of them. I have the uh, the Jim Lee style and the other Jim Lee style with the uh, with the jacket that came in the Love Triangle three pack. Yeah. And yeah, it is surprising that uh, well, not surprising, but disappointing that uh, a twenty dollar figure is probably better than this higher end, more expensive figure. But I am looking at the at the eye effects he comes with, and yeah, those do look nice. He's got the the uh, the energy blasts that shoot out of his eyes. Uh, he's got a, a a head sculpt where there, where he's just wearing glasses, and another one where the visor. Looks like it's got some energy some uh, smoke or something. Yeah, yeah, some residue after he shoots it. Uh, the the energy blast coming out. But you know, also I also saw a lot of people uh, prefer the Marvel Legends Wolverine to the Mafex one. That's <laughs> that's unacceptable. <laughs> that's what that's why I don't go in for these. Like if I'm gonna if I'm gonna sometimes and and I bet it's not most of the time, right? I bet most of the time, you know the the $80 figure is the better one. <laughs> but that some of the times it isn't. That's that's crazy. That's Yeah, that that's unacceptable. You're right. And um oh, uh that reminds me of the of uh, the McFarlane uh, DC uh line that the uh I was watching reviews about the uh, Wonder Woman, the uh the uh movie Wonder Woman. I was going to say the MCU Wonder Woman, but <laughs> the DC equivalent. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, DCEU is it? Yeah, yeah, DCEU. Yeah, um, it looks really good, and the face is uh, the face is pretty good. Uh, and I was seeing comparisons to the uh, to the Mafex one too, and it's better. It's better than the Mafex one. Really? And this isn't this isn't my judgment. Like I haven't handled it. Like or or the reviewer's judgment. Like like how we're going by the Foosh that he preferred the Legend. This is like my <laughs> my uh, judgment that. The 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 McFarlane Wonder Woman is better than the uh, eighty dollar one. Is that McFarlane is that McFarlane Wonder Woman already available? I think it's starting to show up in stores. So yeah, yeah, dude, that McFarlane line like it makes me wish I was more into DC. It makes me wish that McFarlane had the MCU uh, contract. I wouldn't have wished that before. Uh, before his uh, he upped the articulation on stuff. Give me one second. I'm I'm trying to fi- I'm trying to find the figure. It has a very shiny red. Uh... Oh, I'm looking at it now. Yeah, this is nice. Holy crap, this is nice. And I think I think the McFarlane line also has a bunch of uh, like uh, scale issues. Uh, like people are complaining that that I don't I don't know compared to other like what other DCEU because you can't really compare comic and uh, like comic stuff to to like the movie stuff. Like the scaling is is off generally, but people are complaining about scaling issues in the McFarlane wave. But like, not that I'm excusing that, but you know that happens in all the waves. I've I've kind of <laughs> kind of given up on them like scaling like good. Yeah. It seems that they don't care as much as as much as we do <laughs> about the scale. Yes, this is definitely forgivable. This oh man, see. <sighs> I was already on the fence about uh, getting these uh, DC Multiverse figures from McFarlane, but wow, I think this is going to push me more towards towards a definite wanting to get it if everything comes out okay. If we come out on the come out on the other end of this, fine. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to start collecting these. This Wonder Woman looks nice, and I didn't even want to get movie figures. I just wanted like the comic book or. Uh, uh, I, I maybe wanted a Batman the Animated Series, you know, maybe a couple of those figures. But man, this is gonna, this is gonna hurt my pocket. <laughs> and I was also like, oh, uh, you know, I kind of want to wait for the movie to watch the movie, the Wonder Woman movie, before getting the extra figures. <laughs> but I might have to do it before this time. Oh, most definitely. And this is this is for Wonder Woman 1984. Yeah. 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 It's really nice. Definitely, I'm gonna go get it. I also, uh, I also was able to see the uh, Detective Comics 1000 uh, Blue and Gray Batman that's coming out, and man, does that figure look nice as well. But seeing seeing that one and seeing this Wonder Woman, uh, it's pushing me over the edge. I thought it was gonna be a slow year for me, uh, co- uh, toy collecting, but I guess not. <laughs> 
the uh the the one uh i'm not sure if it's uh more expensive or uh, have you seen also the wonder woman that in the armor in the golden armor yeah yeah like some kind of eagle that one also looks looks nice mm-hmm. have you seen the wonder woman movie the original uh, uh you mean the one uh, that came out a few years ago yes yeah yeah i haven't seen it i hear it's really good it's uh, it could have been great and that's what kind of pisses me off it could have been great but they like mishandled some stuff uh and it's just pretty good <laughs> pretty good wow that's the lowest rating i've heard anybody give it <laughs> oh, okay but yeah definitely i gotta get i gotta get on watching that movie before uh before 1984 comes out so i can watch both of them or i might just wait until they're both out on uh uh on video and just buy the uh the eventual bundle and save both movies for the price of one or one and a half all uh, right so moving on from that uh, i don't really have much to say but uh, that gi joe uh, first wave is scheduled to release uh, June 1st, and uh, I'm not a big GI Joe guy, but I would get the uh, the Snake Eyes figure. That one looks nice. Uh, it was I, I think it's the late the the newest one to be announced to be a part of that wave, and I think it had been released as part of as an exclusive. I think at I think it was at Toy Fair. I could be mistaken, but I know it was going to be an exclusive somewhere, and now we're getting it in that wave. In the regular rate. Yeah, in the regular wave, and that probably the only one I would get from the line. And yeah, uh, I agree. If I would get anyone, it'd be the Snake Eyes. The packaging is nice on the figures. Yeah, it has a uh, it has a an Infinity War uh, poster on the back. (laughs) (laughs) But uh, yeah, so I know a lot of people are excited about that GI Joe wave. So we're getting that Snake Eyes. So if you missed out on the exclusive, you can pick it up as uh, as part of the regular wave. Uh, now, George, I know you're a big fan of the uh, Lord of the Rings movie. Uh, did you see the images for the Diamond Select uh, Wave 1? It's only two figures. Uh, no. It's, because, uh, like, because, uh, because I'm kind of not a big Lord of the Rings fan. You're not a Lord of the Rings? I thought you were a huge Lord of the Rings fan. No. I thought you were joking when you said that. Because no, you knew I, I was. No, I was pretty serious. Oh, I'm. A, I'm I tried. <laughs> it's funny because I tried to become a Lord of the Rings fan, and Lord of the Rings wouldn't let me. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I haven't seen. Uh, what, what, what? Uh, is it? Are, is it a new line that they're doing? Yeah, apparent. Yeah, it's uh, apparently because it's the first wave and it's two figures. It's uh, Legolas and Gimli. Uh, one of them is that old guy with the with the beard. He's got a really big beard. And Gandalf? the other one, no, 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 not Gandalf. I think he was really short. I think Gimli. Yeah, the dwarf. Yes. See, I don't remember too much about the movie. And then the other one is the elf. Oh, okay. Yeah, so those two, and and it's gonna there's gonna they're gonna be uh there's gonna be a build a figure to these waves, uh, and uh, I don't know what figures are in the other two waves in wave two and wave three, but the build a figure is gonna be a part. Uh, so I guess it's gonna take three waves to build their bath, and it's gonna be uh, Sauron. Oh wow, Sauron three is the, uh, the bad guy, right? Yeah. Well, I guess I am at least a bigger fan than you in that I know the. Uh characters in that you took the time to remember <laughs> yeah are they gonna keep to scale because the scales uh the scales are pretty wild with the with the uh dwarves and the uh and the uh what, what are the what are the all oh, the hobbits well it would be a gigantic turnoff for a person like me if they're not to scale like I'm not a big fan of the movie, but if the figures were nice enough to at least, you know, maybe put on a shelf, uh, not become a collect them all kind of guy. But if there were some figures that I liked and they weren't in scale, I w- no, it would completely turn me off to getting them. Because <laughs> uh, you've seen you've seen the movies, right? Unfortunately, yeah. <laughs> um, there's a lot of uh, of uh, like uh, forced pers- forced perspective shots 
where they make, you know, like Gandalf seem like freaking huge compared to Frodo. Mm -hmm. And it's all like done in frame. They put they like sit Frodo like on a big table, like on a gigantic table to make him look small. And then they sit a Gandalf on a small table to make him look big. Ah. And then they and then they shoot it from a certain angle. So it looks like it's the same table. Oh, damn. That's cool. So, yeah, it, it like they better be keeping to scale. Well, on, on behalf of Lord of the Rings fans, they better be keeping the fucking scale. Yeah, right, because I don't know of a lot of uh, Lord of the Rings stuff out there. Granted, I'm not, like, keeping up with this stuff, but I don't see a lot of Lord of the Rings figures out there for the uh, for those that have the unfortunate luck of calling themselves Lord of the Rings fans. <laughs> ah, there's one, uh, there's also a figure that uh, I wouldn't say I'm excited for, but definitely brought a smile to my <laughs> face. Mostly because we were recently talking about uh, glow-in-the-dark figures and how the 90s were so awesome. But uh, Super 7 announced their 6-inch Toxy, which is going to be uh, glow-in-the-dark, and it's uh, Entertainment Earth exclusive. Sorry, which company? Uh, Super 7. Oh, okay. So is it going to be like 40 bucks? I don't know about the price. Um, I'm, I don't collect Super 7. I know they are pretty expensive because they, their Thundercats line uh, appears to be pretty expensive. And uh, I'm yeah, they're like gonna... halfway between, uh, half be, halfway between, you know, the forty, halfway between uh, the the uh, sorry Hasbro and uh, like SHF. <laughs> oh, so yeah, most likely forty bucks, which is a bit much if you ask me for, uh, especially for like this for this figure, a Toxie. I like it. I, w- I would get it if it were a little less, but I get it. You know, Super 7 is a small company, but uh, if it were a little less, a person like me, I would get it. Uh, I don't remember Toxic Crusaders too much in order to say I was a huge fan or I'm a huge fan, but I remember it enough to maybe buy one or two figures from the line. And yeah, Glow in the Dark. You can't beat Glow in the Dark. The only other uh, Glow in the Dark figure I currently have in my collection is the uh, alien Mr. Burns from The Simpsons. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's. I don't yeah, think I have any glow in the dark. No. No. Well, you need to get on there. You're not. You're not a '90s kid unless you have at least one glow in the dark action <laughs> figure. Is there any Black Series or uh, or Legends? No, right. <laughs> that I know off the top of my head right now. No, there probably is, but I mean, it would be cool if those Force Ghost figures from the Black Series were glow in the dark. Yeah, or at least like fluorescent. Yeah. Like under a black light or something. So here's a local story. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yes. This is, this is, I'm sorry to interrupt you there, but this is what I've been waiting for. So this, I, was, I, I purposely saved this to ask you until the end of the show because I've been wanting to hear this interesting anecdote. Uh, yeah, go, yeah, go ahead, George. Sorry for uh, the interruption. So this I didn't get from like toy news sites. I got, I got it from like Chicago feed news sites. <laughs> Um, but apparently, uh, Mattel is being sued by a local scientist uh, for uh, for uh, ripping off her uh, I don't know I guess likeness to make a doll to make an American American girl doll. Is this is, when you say local scientist? Are you talking about Chicago? Yeah, I'm talking about Chicago. Really? Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. It's funny when I say local scientist, right? Yeah. Uh, from the Adler, Adler Planetarium. From Adler? Yeah. Oh, man, that's, that's one of my favorite places to be. Yeah, I, yeah, that's why I wanted to uh, talk about it. <laughs> I like the Adler too. <laughs> what's the uh, What's the doll based on? Is the doll also a scientist? Um. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna show it to you. Um, hold on. Yeah, the doll the doll is um. So okay um. The doll is like uh, wants to be an astronaut or something like that's the deal with the doll. Mm-hmm. And uh, and the doll. Um, hold on, let me share it with you. Hold on, Ed. Can you see? It's uh, popping up now. Luciana. Yeah. So she's uh, Hispanic. Uh, <laughs> uh, I don't know if the scientist is. No, I don't think the scientist is like based on the name. Uh. But the scientist's name is Lucienne. So basically the same thing minus one A. Uh, Lucienne, uh, A-N-N, sorry, sorry. 
A N N E. Ah, okay. Um, and uh, I think I think based on the name and based on that uh, the girl is like uh, studying space and and stuff, I do think that it's uh, I do think they rip, they uh, ripped her off. But is it the likeness just in that she's uh, a female and, and is into uh, astronomy, or does the doll actually, or is she suing because the doll actually looks like her too? No, the doll doesn't actually look like her. I think uh, they were arguing that uh, that. Uh, so I read the article and it seemed like they were adding like too much stuff, which made it seem like they had a like a weak like a weak case, but. Uh, but are trying to pat it out like they were saying like uh like uh her shoes like the the scientist like is like a science communicator mm-hmm. and like she sometimes wears like the kind of flashy shoes that the that the American girl doll is wearing she also like uh she also like dyes her color her hair in like crazy colors i guess like the like the doll does or like the doll has like purple hair um but um I think <laughs> that actually made it seem like less credible. Like, oh, like you're just reaching, right, for like stuff. But I, th- I think it's like purely based on the name and based on the uh, space stuff. I think it's a pretty uh, open and shut case. Like, I would say, like, if I was the judge, not that I know anything about like like copyright law or like likeness law, but I would I would rule in the scientist's favor. And I was thinking too, like. And let's say on the off chance that uh, that the uh, that it wasn't the case that just by, by pure coincidence they landed on the on the name, like I was thinking like well then you should like you morons then you should be ripping off the scientist, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Like they should be like looking into like uh like real life scientists and like making them into like action figures uh, i mean translating it to like the stuff we're interested in you know what i mean like promoting like science as like uh as something that you'd like base a toy on you know right um I, I, but I, I don't i mean yes yes it's uh i don't think it's an open and shut case because she doesn't look like her and there are situations where you know there, it could just be an astonishing coincidence man uh but i mean think about it uh english and rigelian sound exactly the same and it's you know it's just an astonishing coincidence i would say the name the so the doll's name is luciana vega and the the uh scientist's name is lucian vokovic um so i that kind of also has a similarity to it Um, yes but Vega is a star. You're right. <laughs> and and Lucian, Luciana, you can, I mean, Lucian in Latin is is like light is is what what I think of when I think of the name uh, Lucy or Luciana. When, I, when I'm thinking, you know, like light, and when you're looking through a telescope, all you see are little dots of light and little droplets of light in the sky. <laughs> yes, but. Okay, back to my point. <laughs> but I think I think that if they weren't doing that, then they should have been doing that. You know what I mean? Because at first I thought too, like, well, it's not like she's famous enough to be like like that. They're cashing in on her fame, you know, mm-hmm. like that they're cashing in on the scientists' fame. But they should have gone out to scientists and been like, hey, you know, let's make a, a doll about you, you know. Yeah, at the very least, say, hey, you know what? We would like to base a doll on you. Uh, I won't be exactly your name. It won't be exactly your face. But I think you're good enough to inspire a generation of little boys or little girls, mostly little girls, right? Because it's American American girl. Yeah. To, to aspire to be, uh, you know, a scientist. I don't think she would have made a big, a, a big deal out of it. I think she probably would have been like, yeah. Yeah, I know, right? And they would have, yeah. I don't know how much money, you know, this scientist would have like required i assume not a lot right for less than what they're gonna be sued for (laughs) yeah but i mean it's just some of those arguments yeah like you said it just seems a little vague oh because she wears outlandish shoes well she's i'm pretty sure she's not the only female scientist to wear outlandish shoes 
It's or true. Choco. They don't know how to dress. <laughs> yeah, so like they're 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 geeks, right? I'm they're just joking, by the way. <laughs> I'm not. They're geeks and they're nerds, just like us. <laughs> yeah, but they're like, but uh, like uh, to paraphrase Millhouse, uh, nerds are smart. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, I but I also don't put it out of the re- realm of possibility that, you know, someone from Mattel was at Adler and they saw her and thought, ooh, that wouldn't be an interesting doll. I, I, I wouldn't put it past that happening as well. No, um, and even if they didn't, and even if, <laughs> which is why they, I think that they should have, uh, like, if they get sued, like, to reach an agreement and for them to get the idea to do that, to reach out to scientists and, like, Make dolls of them. <laughs> dolls and action figures. Yeah. I want a Neil deGrasse Tyson uh, Marvel Legend. <laughs> yeah. Well, maybe not a Marvel Legend, but Black it, it would be... Huh? Black Series? Was he ever on The Simpsons? I, he would make a great, like, Simpsonized... Oh, he would. He would. Well, was he on The Simpsons? I don't know. <laughs> Let me see. Let me let me look it up really quick. If he was, then oh, that would be so. Yes, he was. The Caper Chase. The what? The, name of the, the Caper Chase is the name of the uh. Oh, so. after, yeah, after Homer gets much better at teaching as as a professor in Burns University, Mr. Burns decides to sell him to Bourbon Verlander and let him work for him as his private at his private estate. When Homer arrives, he's one of the educators that Verlander hired for him, uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson. So, Mm. yes, Neil deGrasse Tyson was on The Simpsons. I need me a Neil deGrasse Tyson Simpsons. (laughs) I got to make this happen. We should tweet at him. Yeah. (laughs) Well, that story was uh, it was interesting, George. Thank you for uh, for saving it and uh, sharing it with me over the show to get my live reaction. That was I enjoyed it very much. (laughs) It involved uh, three of the things I love the most, uh, action figures, uh, the Adler Planetarium, and Chicago. Can't beat it. Yeah, and um, and your other uh, passion, uh, astronomy, and looking through telescopes and stuff. Yeah. Okay, so the other day I was looking, uh, I was looking through, like, I guess, I don't know, the Hot Toys website, through their catalog, I guess, I don't know what you'd call it. Mm-hmm. Um. Cause I, I'd like to have, I mean, like, like we talked about, uh, like we talked about earlier, uh, like hot toys are too big. I mean, not just the price, which is freaking a lot, right? Mm-hmm. But they're also too big, especially for, uh, like I, th- I'm thinking even if I had like all the room that I, I would want, I, they would even still be too big, you know? Yeah, the scale uh, just isn't to your liking. Yeah, 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 yeah. I feel the same. But I, but I would like at least one, right, at that scale, at least one hot toy, um, to ev- like eventually down the line get. So I was looking through the through the uh, through their catalog or whatever, and uh, it their like faces look really good. They look almost like uncannily real. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yes, I have seen uh, I've seen some hot toys, and I know what you're talking about. When you like zoom into their skin, it it looks like uh like you can see like I don't know, like the imperfections or whatever, right? It doesn't look like smooth plastic. It looks like skin. And and even though the faces look look really good, uh, can you see can you see my uh my screen? It's popping up now. Uh, yeah, I can see it now. Are you are you seeing? Yeah, the captain. Okay. So okay, I'm I'm showing you these uh the pictures. Um, is it just me? Like, look through this, and I think I'm already biasing you by telling you, but is it just me or or do these faces kind of look the same? <laughs> it seem it appears that they all have the same expression, like their eyebrows. Yeah, like the eyes all seem like uh like they have like uh I don't know what it's called, like hooded eyes. Mhm. Uh, and it seems like they all have like all their eyes are like um uh, the same color too. That ray looks really nice. Yeah, but uh, do you see what I'm talking about? How they all look like they have like the same uh I don't know eyes. The same look in their eyes. Yeah, not not just look, but like... Like the actual eyes. Yeah, like the actual eyes look similar in between all of them. Yes, yes. 
And I don't know is if this is just a like a taking pictures of it thing, or if this is like a they all look the same. <laughs> well, they don't all look the same. I'm, I'm exaggerating. Uh, but uh, no, but I see what you're saying, and yeah, it could be the effect, you know, after the picture being taken, or it could just be that they only have one set of eyeballs to put on <laughs> all of their figures. <laughs> well, no, I just found that interesting that even even you know when you're even at the high end, there's still like something to complain about <laughs> that they don't all quite look like the act. Even though you know this is miles you know ahead of fucking Hasbro's printing tech. But yeah, I, I see what you uh, I see what you're talking about, and yeah, I agree with you. So we should uh, we should definitely. Try to contact uh, Hot Toys and tell them to get uh, get new eyes. Yeah. <laughs> well, with that, the time has come to say goodbye. You know, George, every time we say goodbye, I cry a little. Uh, I don't remember how the other the rest of the quote goes. <laughs> but you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, Krusty. No, Sideshow Bob. Oh yeah, 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 it's Sideshow Bob. Yeah. Uh, with that, we uh, we say goodbye here on the Two Hasbro's Toy Hunt Podcast. We hope we uh, had some informative information for you, and we hope we entertained you all for a little while. I know I was entertained, uh, especially with that uh, with that story there at the end, and and George pointing out the uh, the single set of eyes in the entire uh, Hot Toys factory. <laughs> Remember, you can find the Two Hasbro's uh, Toy Hunt podcast on uh, Google Play, Apple Podcasts, iHeartRadio, uh, Spreaker.com, which is our hosting site. Uh, but you can also find it on YouTube. If you're listening through YouTube, we also have some uh, some videos on there, and we've got more videos in the works that are coming soon. Uh, you can tweet at us, follow us on Twitter at Two Toy Hunts. Uh, let us know what you think of everything that we're doing and how much you uh how much you like it when george takes uh takes jabs at inbox collectors and three and three quarter inch star wars figures but uh until next time george this is the way